Welcome back, Noel. We continue to see that snow pack melting mm. away. Yeah, well, with that scintillating sunshine, Ben, it's just no match for what we've got. It is nice with a moderate UV index earlier today. That's going to diminish in time as the sun will set in about an hour and a 50, hour 15 minutes or so. It is beautiful. Live view across Upper Michigan. These temperature ranges from Houghton, Hancock, Marquette to St. Ignace. They don't describe the story of how warm it got for some areas away from the Great Lakes. It is, as mentioned, around the 30s over in Marquette. Beautiful sunshine, mostly sunny skies throughout Upper Michigan. Humidity is at 81% near Lake Superior. That's good, but inland, oh, it's a different story. Much drier. We're under high pressure throughout Upper Michigan. Almanac data from National Weather Service Marquette. There's your sunset time officially, 6.44 p.m. Eastern time for this evening. 41 degrees in Nagani Township, above the average, but not like the rest of the region where we got some 50s from Silver City in Ontonagon County, Covington, around Berga County, Norway area 52, and you go down to Delta County, areas like Stonington, the Peninsula 52 in LaBranche in Menominee. So there's more of that to come and drier air. Minimum relative humidity values around Iron County, Golden Lake 18%, Iron River 18%, and we could expect much of the same. Not the teens, but at least 20 to 30%. It's just too close for comfort to say we're out of that risk for wildfires. Meso West Great Lakes fire and fuels rating forecast for tomorrow. There's medium to high as you see with the blue and the yellow meaning high for the east end of the UP and the west end as well towards Gogibic County. So any outdoor burning you just want to refrain from that until we get a little more moisture in the air. It's going to be dry with a southeast breeze tonight. Scattered clouds. There's a chance for an isolated mix out west. Temperatures around the shorelines for your lows from the 20s to lower 30s. Much cooler across the interior around that 20 degree mark. Scattered clouds and an isolated mix west. So overall dry and we're going to look at some partial sunshine tomorrow but the gusts picking up from the southeast. Gusts and 20, even 25 miles per hour or higher. Temperatures could reach 50 around the shorelines, but it's mainly across interior upper Michigan. We're going to get more of those 50s and not just the low 50s you see over the western. We're thinking some mid 50s as well for your Thursday. Future radar and wind gusts. So we got a system to bring us an isolated mix tomorrow. It'll be north of us around Ontario. It's the central plain system that brews and comes and brings a mix to Friday afternoon. We're going to get some breezy wind conditions from the north. It's mainly central and eastern upper Michigan, but it turns into some wet snow, a messy end to Friday, and then a transition to some lake effect snow. We'll say that as we get into Saturday across the northwest wind belts and the winds getting towards gale force approaching 40 miles per hour through the weekend. We'll see these snow chances diminish across the Lake Superior shore for Sunday. We'll get more sunshine back by the end of the weekend. So that's when we could see that lessen wildfire risk towards the weekend, but it turns into more winter by the weekend. We're going to be also advancing our clocks an hour, Ben. Not looking forward to that. We'll look forward to the cooler temperatures, at least for me, because we're going to warm up again next week. All right. Thank you, Noel. And remember, on the free TV6 